Hello Scorpio, I'm here to give you insight and guidance for the month of February 2022. So I went ahead and laid the cards out already and I will be pulling some additional cards, excuse me, to get some more insight for you guys, okay? I don't know, I've been really like burpy. Okay, first card here is the moon and this is in the position of your main focus and energy okay so i see here there could be some fear there can be some concern about the unknown um some of y'all could be howling at the moon okay <laughs> um i was hearing creeping back up okay so there could be some fears that are creeping back up some uncertainty there's a lot of activity going on in the subconscious here, okay? I also see this as a sign of pregnancy, the moon as well. That's for some of you, not all of you, okay? Um, but there is definitely some fear of the unknown. There is um, heightened intuition. Um, there's, this is also heightened emotion at this time as well. Okay, uh, some of you could be going through some phases in the month of February as well. Okay, like I said, some of you guys are howling at the moon. <laughs> All right, uh, you could be witnessing some people howling at the moon. Okay, I was hearing the freaks come out at night. Okay, so be careful if you're out and about at night. You know, there could be some people out there that are not really uh, stable. Okay, I also see that there could be some focus on your mental health. Okay as well scorpio um, um i was hearing like making your fears a reality so just be mindful of this okay address any fears that you may have or uncertainty okay and address them the next card we have here is the knight of pentacles is in the position of um, your obstacles and challenges so the knight of pentacles this is someone who's very dedicated they work very hard so that could be a challenge you're working very hard but things are just kind of moving slow okay slow motion with me slow motion with me okay that song by juvenile uh I like it like that she working that back. I don't know how to act slow motion for me. Okay. That may not be the case for some of y'all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign person or with earth sign energy and maybe they, they're moving very slow. Okay. I'm hearing that for some of you, they're just trying to fill you out before they um, really commit. Okay. Um, they're just taking their time. That's for some of you, but I feel like for some of you, it's like you're working very hard, but it seems like things are moving in slow motion, you know, um, and that could be frustrating for you. Okay. Um, I'm hearing I have to put in the hard work. Okay. And nobody likes hard work, right? But it's necessary. Um, let me see here. I was hearing also recognition, wanting to get the recognition that you're deserving or you feel that you deserve. You're, you're, you're wanting this. Um, I'm also hearing like acknowledgement, like wanting to receive some type of acknowledgement or desiring this. Um, okay. Um, this could be somebody that you're working with or dealing with. They're, like I said, they're, they could be moving very slow. Okay. They can be it's like slow progress okay next card we have here is your achievement this is the seven of swords so i don't know what i was hearing that i'm not gonna say that okay um i was hearing getting away with something so that's an achievement for some of you scorpios it's like you got away with something okay um what i heard you got away with i don't want to say Okay, because it's not for all of you. Okay, but I see some of you are have gotten away with something. Okay, I also see this uh, seven of swords as being strategic, using your mind, using your uh, I was hearing using your cunning ways to get what you want to make things happening to make things happen. Okay, that's for some of you, not all of you. Okay, I also am hearing that some of you have kept some things to yourself or you played your cards close to your ch your chest and people didn't even know what was hitting them okay so you could have had a grand idea like an amazing idea and now it has materialized but you didn't run around just running your mouth you kept it close to your chest you played your cards to your chest and it's like now people are seeing the results okay 
people didn't see it coming. All right. Um, I also see here that some of you, uh, some of you Scorpios um, are overcoming deception, overcoming lies, overcoming deceit. So you're overcoming that. You're walking away from that. Um, I was hearing like you're choosing the high road. Okay. Um, okay. And then we have the six of wands here. This is in the position of your lessons. So the six of wands, I don't know. I thought I said five of wands, but the six of wands. Um, so your lesson here is you have to overcome some challenges in order to get the recognition that you're desiring. I feel like there's some haters that are around you, Scorpio. There could be one or uh, two or three. Okay, but I see here that um, you have to overcome some challenges in order to um, get the recognition that you're deserving in order to get the actual positive energy. So with the six of wands here, it seems like you may have gone through some challenges or maybe you have you're currently going through some challenges and you're needing to lead by example you need to not feed into the the bs you need to keep it moving okay there could be instances where people may try to drag you down or try to test you uh it's important that you don't get off your horse you continue to move forward Okay, you keep it moving. And most importantly, you lead by example. I was hearing like being petty. So choose not to be petty. Choose not to feed into the negativity. Okay, but you're going to have to go through some challenges. You're going to have to go, uh, go through some obstacles. Not go through, but overcome some obstacles. Okay, to get the reward, to experience the victory, and I also am hearing that um, you Scorpios need to look at the fact that you've over the fact that you've overcome obstacles. That is a victory. Okay, that is a victory. So you got to pay attention to that. Okay, overcoming obstacles, uh, overcoming challenges, um, overcoming hardships. That is a victory. Okay. Now, your advice here is the lover's card. Okay, the advice here is the lover's. So, huh, hmm, your advice is to love. Okay, be open to love. Be open to support. Be open to your angels. I'm also hearing be open to receiving as well. Okay. Um... Your advice is to focus on what you're wanting to attract, okay? I was hearing the law of attraction, Scorpio. Okay? Focus on law of attraction. What you focus on, you would get back, excuse me, you would get back in return. So if you're going to focus on negativity, you're going to get that back. If you're going to focus on happiness, joys, your blessings, you're going to receive more of that. Okay. So just be mindful of that. I also see that it's important for you to um, involve yourself in connections with people that are pure, that are loving as well. Okay. That are supportive. It's really important for you to do that. I feel like um, through these pure connections, um, you're going to receive blessings. Okay. So just be mindful of the company that you're keeping as well. Okay. Um, what else am I saying here? Hmm. I was hearing also with the lovers, have faith, have faith. Your faith can go a long way. Okay. So have faith. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the process. Okay. Trust in divine timing. What else is going on with Scorpio in the month of February 2022? What else is going on with Scorpio? Scorpio. What else is going on with Scorpio? What else is going on with Scorpio? What else is going on with Scorpio? Um, okay, Six of Wands. Ooh, I like that. So Six of Wands. So this is victory. Experiencing a victory. <laughs> six of Wands is coming out twice. That's amazing. I can't remember which reading 
that was um that could have been the Gemini reading where two six of wands came out. I don't know. I can't remember. But um, this is a victory here. OK, um, I see here, Scorpio, that you're focused on overcoming challenges. You're brave. You're being courageous. If that's not the case, this is an, this is encouragement for you to tap into this energy. I see here that there is a lion here. So there could be a Leo that is very supportive, that um, is somewhat of your companion. You could have Leo in your chart as well. OK, but this is somebody who's brave I heard a brave heart this is um, what is this this is um, uh, Le Jupiter and Leo okay so this is blessings this is victory this six this is success okay and this can be obtained um, by being brave by being courageous by choosing to overcome your uh, challenges your obstacles okay I was hearing I'm ready for the challenge. Okay, we got the Queen of Swords here. Okay, um, so some of you could be Libra Scorpio cusp. Okay, so I see here that you're using your mind, you're using your logic. Some of you are, are not really focused on relationships at this time. There could be someone that wants to wife you up or make you a husband. Okay, but you're not really focused on that. You're focused on your goals. You're focused on um, just your projects, things like that. That's for some of you, not all of you, okay? Um, I also see here that you are using your mind. You're doing a lot of mental work to overcome challenges, okay? And it's gonna take a lot of effort and it, it, could e it could even wear you out, okay? I also see here that you're cutting off people that no longer serve you as well. Um, people that are stunting your growth, people that are not genuine as well, okay? Um, some of you could have found out that someone was seeing somebody else behind your back. I see here because you have the queen here and then we have two, the lovers outside the window. OK, so you may have some information that you, maybe you're not sharing. You're just observing at this time. OK, but this is an energy of like no nonsense. You're not putting up with anything else. OK, or you're not putting up with just any mess, okay? Any deceit, any of that, okay? Which makes a lot of sense because I see here it's like you're you're seeing past the deceit and the uh, lies and all that, okay? What else is going on with Scorpio? Okay, what else is going on with Scorpio? Um, I'm also seeing here that you're protecting your happiness. Some of you could be protect, protecting your relationship at all costs, okay? You're not playing around when it comes to your relationship, all right. Or the people that you love and care about, you don't play. Four of Swords. Okay, so um, I do see here for some of you Scorpios, you could be giving some people, okay, or someone the silent treatment. You're spending time, um, maybe spending time to collect your thoughts. Maybe you have a close circle you're only dealing with. That's that's for some of you. Um, for others of you, it's just if you're having a lot of mental activity, stress, restlessness, it's a call for you to maybe do some meditation, uh, maybe spend some time alone, okay, um, so you can collect your thoughts. Uh, what else am I seeing with the Four of Swords? Um, the fourth source also could be communicating with people that you actually trust, communicating with people that are actually going to, I was hearing that's going to keep your secrets. That's not going to have your business out in the street and sharing it with everybody. Okay. That's so that's, that can be an advice for you guys. Um, what else am I seeing here? Okay. But I see there's some like silent treatment. There's like an energy of being an observer. It's like you're observing a lot during this time okay during february you're like you're observing a lot <laughs> it's like you're watching how people move you're not saying much okay some of you could be more of a listener okay all right what else is going on with scorpio what else is going on with scorpio but don't be afraid to take time out for yourself scorpio that's, that's what's really important what else is going on oh my god what else is going on with Scorpio? Ooh, two of cups. Okay, so we have the two of cups and the lovers. Wow, okay. 
So Scorpio, it looks like um, you found a lover gal or a lover man, okay? <laughs> you could be spending some time with someone that you really care about, giving some cuddles, some kisses. This could also talk about just connecting with people and, and just having a heart to heart, speaking to someone that you trust. I was hearing my long lost love, okay? So this could be somebody that you were with in the past or... Um, someone that you, you are with now and it feels like they like you've known them all your life like you've known them in a past life okay um this is love here okay this is definitely love this is someone that you could be emotionally connected with um, um uh, attracted to as well this could be physical attraction as well uh, being physically attracted to someone um okay I was hearing like the touch, okay? It's like the, the, the physicality, like the, the physical attributes that they have, it, it makes you feel like you're in love with them, okay? I'm seeing, I don't know, maybe they got a big booty or something or they got some big muscles, I don't know, okay? It's something like that here, but this is connecting with someone that you really care about and someone that you really adore here, okay? This is also an energy of someone that has your back. This, this can also be a desire. You could desire this two of cups. You could desire to be victorious with this person, okay? You may want this person to yourself, okay? You just wanna grab their face and kiss them like that, right? <laughs> Okay, but this can also just be having a heart to heart. It doesn't have to be romantic. Okay, what else do we got for Scorpio? What else do we got for Scorpio? What else do we got for Scorpio? Hmm. And going back to the Queen of Swords, this may not be you. This actually may be someone that you know, Scorpio, and they see you frolicking with someone. Okay, they see that you're actually dealing with someone else, but they're not saying anything. Okay, the death card. Okay, so an ending. Okay, some of you could have ended things with a queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could have also been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, could have been a Taurus. I see Virgo. I see Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, but this is the death card is Scorpio. So Scorpio, I feel like you guys are going through some major transformation. Some of you have ended a, a, a personality, a, a part of your personality. You have put an end to it, okay? You had ended a part of your personality. Some part of your personality has like died, okay? You're not seeing things the same anymore, okay? I also see here that you're understanding death, okay? Some of you could have experienced some losses or experience some endings and it's like you're understanding okay or maybe there's a need for you to understand that things don't last forever it's all about what you do in this current space and time what you do in this lifetime what you do in the moment that matters that's for some of you i'm seeing here but i do see with the death card please don't be afraid of it the death card represents scorpio okay so it's like there's something you're i feel like you're accepting something okay you're accepting an ending you're accepting this transformation because with every ending, there is a new beginning, okay? So I see this, but I also see that you could have ended something with someone, okay? For some of you, it could have just been something physical, like you just were all for the physical, okay? Maybe that's all it was, okay, with this person. Let's see, what else do we have for Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio? The Magician, wow, okay, The Magician. So, what is The Magician saying? When The Magician comes out, I'm like, hmm. So, uh, The Magician's all about manifesting. It's about uh, making nothing into something, okay? I feel like some of you Scorpios are in this Magician type of energy. You're, you're trying to manifest something. I feel like some of you could be trying to revive a relationship, revive a partnership, 
Okay, that's for some of you. Someone could be trying to revive a partnership with you, okay, or re revive the relationship. I do see that, okay, that they're, they're focused on this. Um, the magician is a magician, okay? So some of you could be doing some magic or someone could be doing magic on you, okay? I know it sounds crazy, but th this is real, okay? Um, I do also see that you guys are using all the resources that you have to um, to meet your goals. I see here. Um, I feel like a certain part of your mindset has to die in order for you to manifest exactly what you're wanting because there's the energy of feeling like very doubtful there could be an energy of feeling as though i don't know kind of like doom and gloom type of energy okay and you can't manifest with that type of mindset and that energy okay so just be mindful of that um the magician can also be a trickster as well somebody who is um, just a trickster. So just be mindful of that as well. And this is perfect because I said with the Four of Swords, uh, Scorpio, you're watching how people are moving, okay? So just be mindful of that, okay? And if you're being a trickster, trust and believe somebody is watching how you you are moving, okay? But um, if you're trying to manifest something, you have to be in that manifestation mindset. You have to believe in yourself, okay? You have to have the right thoughts and the right energy, okay? You have to be brave, okay? Courageous. Be ready for the challenges. Be ready for the obstacles too. Because like I was saying here, we, sometimes we have to go through those obstacles and hurdles in order to be victorious. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your love life, Scorpio. Four cards for 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 Scorpio. Okay, codependency. Okay, we got addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so you could be codependent, Scorpio, or you could be dealing with someone who's codependent or dealing with some addictions. Okay, the death card could also talk about um, just somebody with an addictive personality as well. You know, it's a dark energy. It's the underworld energy. It's sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I mean, not really. That's the devil card, really. But this is like the underworld type energy. So you could be dealing with someone who has addictions, who's very codependent, who depends on you, who needs your attention all the time. And it could be draining, okay? Some of you could, like I said, be struggling with some type of addiction, substance abuse. So just be mindful of that. Try to overcome. Get the necessary help that you're needing, okay? If you feel like you need to be in a relationship in order to be happy, you got to check yourself, okay? Because you have to be able to make yourself happy at the end of the day. You really have to, okay? But we live and learn, okay? So don't beat yourself up. Wow, pay attention to the red flags. Wow. And this is awesome because I was talking about watching how people move. So it says the signs are cautioning you. So, uh, yeah. Um it's really important you pay attention to the red flags. The moon card here does talk about, I did say the freaks come out at night. Okay, so something could be surfacing. Okay, there could be something that was hidden and now it's made aware to you, Scorpio. So just be mindful of that. But pay attention to the red flags. Okay, there could be some red flags in your relationship or maybe you're always attracted to the red flags. I was hearing that um, some of you Scorpios believe that you can fix someone. Okay, they have to be willing to fix themselves. Flirt. Okay, so flirtatious energy. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay, some of you could have a heavy heart um, because of your past relationships. Okay, maybe you haven't really healed from it. So it's a call for you to um, lighten your heart a bit, you know, and, and extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay, but it's important that you do have some boundaries as well. You can be flirtatious and have a good time, but be willing to get to know people because I feel like there could be some red flags that present themselves. Okay, uh, but the red flags 
Scorpio, you could have some red flags. Maybe you get upset easily or, you know, may, it could be anything. Okay. So just be mindful of that. Okay. And the addiction going back and I'm going backwards. The addiction doesn't have to be substance. It could be addictive ways of responding and doing things. Right. And that's probably why the death card came out. Cause there's a, uh, part of your personality or part of somebody's personality that needs to die. Okay or the response okay but lighten your heart okay extend your light-hearted energy to others be more playful okay um healing family issues wow your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so some of you scorpios could have came from a difficult family you've probably experienced some traumas or the person that you're dealing with experienced some traumas and so in, uh, in order for this relationship to really thrive and to get on the right track there needs to be forgiveness of your parents okay um okay or this person that you're dealing with needs to forgive their parents um healing family issues doesn't have to just talk about parents you could be somebody who has children or maybe the person that you're dealing with has children and they have a lot of chaos going on in their family. And so there needs to be some healing in that person's family in order for this relationship to thrive. OK, there needs to be, um, of course, some forgiveness, but some serious work needs to be done. OK, that's for some of you. OK. Um, all right. Okay, what do you need to work on as far as your shadow side? What do you need to work on as far as your shadow side? Okay, for the month of February. Three cards for Scorpio. 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 I see also, Scorpio, that some of you may realize that somebody is really codependent or they need you around all the time. And so that's a red flag to you. So you may be playing with this person. You may not want to take them seriously. You may just want to, you know, sniff them a little bit, you know, play with them a little bit. But you may not want to be serious with this person. That's what I just heard. Okay, three cards for Scorpio. Three cards for Scorpio. Three cards for Scorpio. And um, I also see with the um, pay attention to red flags, there's a spirit here, okay? There is a spirit here, okay? So I feel like your um, ancestors of love and light, your loved ones who have crossed over, your angels are trying to warn you about something or about this person. Selfish, self-absorbed, and superficial, Lord. Selfish, you are wrapped in your own desires. Try looking at try looking at and caring about the other. Oh my god, I can't fucking read. Selfish, you are wrapped in your own desires. Try looking at and caring about the needs of others. Wow. Self-absorbed. Seek to feel what others are feeling. Express empathy to others to overcome this. Wow, so it's really calling for you guys to be really attentive to the needs of others and maybe even put yourself in other people's shoes. Superficial, you care too much about outward appearances. Start with your inner work, your value, your self-esteem, your personality. And I was just saying that about the personality, a need to put an end to a certain part of your personality okay so that's the end of your reading scorpio please like share and subscribe and if you're interested in a reading with me feel free to reach out um and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and god bless